welcome back I'm doing a review here and a comparison a good year plus on on the Westlake seat box now you all have seen me with this in the previous video showing a review on it when I bought it when I got it and it's been tried it's been tested it's been used it's been abused and this is how it's fared and um, basically it's all dirty and that from my last trip which was only a couple of days ago and one year on it's still doing what it's got to do there are a few fallibles I'm gonna point you through them and I'll compare it to the the new kid on the block in a bit but first of all the one thing I will say is the foot plate on this thing is solid it hasn't really moved it hasn't done anything it is starting to wear a bit where you lock it in place with the screws and um, for fishing and what have you that's just gonna happen anyway because it is metal at the end of the day. it's gonna warp it's gonna bend especially with the weight of me on it and um, on top of that what became evident after a while is you've only got these two legs the front legs are extending so you can drop it down and have an extended leg but not these two which can be a bit of a bugger when you're on an incline and you just want to get your box perfectly level so that's the downside if you will the other one I'm gonna say maybe more my fault than anything else and that is if we go around to the back here you see the clip two clips you've got that are similar to the maglock clips on Preston if you notice you can see the metal here and that is because it doesn't actually lock and that's because I opened it up one day it was a bit windy it swung back and it cracked off both those locks and I thought no problem I'll just buy another bottom section when I can and I'll be good I can't seem to find anywhere you can buy extra sections for these boxes even though they come as a you know as a, as a box section piece by piece you can't actually buy them separate which is a bit of a bugger so as it is anyway I'll take the strap down just so we can access the box for storage and everything it's been brilliant the drawers still hold everything you need them to hold they are big they are long it's a right through body drawer I've just got a mix of things in there because of being a mess from when I last went but it's, it does the job you know it holds everything it stays in place it's magnetic at the back it doesn't move when you're sat on there and the weight of you is on top of the drawer it can be a bit stiff to get in you might have to lift the ass cheek a little bit to access your box then underneath here again a bit of a mess pull winders and everything are still in there they sit in there nice and nice and proper those clips work and then like I say you got the main body in there where I've got reels a couple of boxes and some hook length boxes and stuff like that but this I have to hold on to because of the locks at the back not working it will just fall off and because of that it kept falling apart when I was getting to the bank sometimes it'd shift when I was carrying it and stuff like that and it was causing a few issues that's why I've had to bite the bullet and, and upgrade the other thing is the footplate as you know because of the kind of footplate is it folds up rather than sliding it folds up under the box and I've had to use a bungee clip once you fold it up to keep it up otherwise you'd have to take it off every time when you're carting it about and that's just a pain in the ass to carry that around all the time so yeah I've just folded it up lock it in place best I can and then bungee clip it around and jobs are good but the seat is still as you can see it has flattened down over the course of a year you can see where the sponge is given in but like I say it has been used and abused it really has um, I can't fault it for the price I really can't it's been a very good box to me and if I'd have given it a bit more tender love and care it probably would have done better probably would have lasted better but it was time for it to move over and we've gone Preston so the comparisons to the new Preston that I've got here this is the inception 3d 150 now the 3d stands for three draw system and 150 is the base unit depth capacity 150 mil and um, I opted for this just because of the capacity of it you find a lot of boxes out there 
are either designed for pole fishermen or feeder fishermen and you never seem to get everything it's always oh you can have this box and all it's got is trays for winders and maybe a drawer or you can have this box and it's got a load of drawers for feeders and other bits and bobs but nothing for you to store any reels store any tackle boxes any hook length boxes things like that so it's a case of well what the heck can you get and Preston seemed to do the best one. Dyer would do one called the D90, which isn't bad. The new D90. Um, I'm going to say Matrix do one. For the same sort of price, you're looking at the S25. You could go for the S36, but that's an extra 60, 70 quid on the budget, if you will. These come in in the budget of between, you'll find them online, between 360 and 400 price wise. So it's a good £100 plus jump on this. But if you were to go for these Matrix like the S36, like I say, the S25 is the same price really. But if you went for the S36, which is just the same box with bigger legs and an extra tray, it's it's 450 upwards to nearly 500 499 So I went for this because of storage. When I go fishing, I don't just pull fish. I don't just feed a fish. And I don't just float fish. I bring everything. You know, and I like to have that selection as you can see in that box I had reels I have pole winders I have floats I have feeders everything so on with the box anyway what you get is four extendable legs these front four now some other boxes do give you six which is even better but I can do with four four is great for half the places I go to the foot plate is very lightweight it's this it's kind of like a, a plastic and metal combi um, like I say, super lightweight foot plate, but it slides back in rather than folding up, which is a lot better. Um, and you slide it back in. If I come round, you'll see the pins here. Down there. You just pull them out, turn them, and they'll stay in that position so you can slide the box, the seat thing, in and out. Put it like that, and it'll find its locking place when you uh, need it to, which is about there. There we go. So that's good. I like that. I like the fact that the foot plate slides in and out. Now the the strap very very well padded. I'll just put that out of the way. It's held in place with the um, clips. The, 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 the I can't remember the car, but the like the, you know they're just a a, a, a grip clip, a little carabiner clip. Try and get the words out there. Now the drawers are all magnetic, so they don't fall out. The first one you've got in this three drawer system. It's got a bit of dust on here. Is big long through drawer just like you've got in that one but with all your separations and everything and that is a big big drawer that's going to do fine for putting in me floats and some weights some hook length boxes things like that and then you've got the two drawers at the front both shorter drawers but perfect for putting in some feeders like your cage feeders method feeders some you know your hook links your stops all that sort of thing all oh, great in here maybe even some hook links in that one in the other one you could put like your rigs if you want to do made up rigs and everything you can hear those magnets click and take the drawer in see perfect and then the main box itself like i say it's it's a big old beast of a base unit comes with a clip so that you can actually put it back and it holds it there so it doesn't doesn't fall away like that one did <laughs> And you've got a nice big deep tray there. Nice big deep unit. Which is always good. Mag lock on the door on the drawers and on the unit means it's never gonna move really once you've locked it in place. It's solid. The pull retainer, if you will, is rubber, so it doesn't flop down really. It goes back to that position. So you're never having to fiddle around trying to get your pole in place if you want to use that as a pole rest. Whereas that one being a leather strap, when I'm sat on it tends to do that and you've got to try and piddle around and pull it up so you can get your pole in place whereas that holds its shape the seat is very very well padded very, it feels hard but it's very comfortable as well at the same time and it's a bit more lightweight the poles the legs and everything are definitely more lightweight this is a bit of a heavy beast but not that much heavier not that much heavier at all so yeah I would I'd still recommend that I really would recommend that as a starter box or a budget box what I'm thinking of doing is getting rid of that base unit because of the clips breaking and everything 
and just having it as a little pull roving box if I want to do a bit of pull fishing on the canal or something so it's lightweight for walking all the way up and down the canal when I'm fishing for the bream on the pull. As you can see the dog finds it interesting. Well maybe not. And then the other thing that this doesn't have that some boxes do which a little bit of a disappointment but not too bad. Some boxes you get the tops here you can unscrew them and they've got a screw in for putting attachments into and everything. This one don't, not on this Preston. You have to go up a level in the Preston boxes to get any of the screw caps. On that one, those two legs there have both got screws. So you can put in little attachments. So that was a bit of a bonus with that one. But that's the comparison. Like I say, build quality wise, it is way up there. Way up there build quality. I can't fault it. Oh, you got your spirit level at the back there in case I forgot to tell you. Right there. Yeah, build quality is it is a definite step above, well above that for build quality. Nice H-frame design. I prefer H-frames because you can get them to the height you want them. You know, it's not a, a unit like these Z-frame ones where you have to um, add, you know, trays or units onto it to make it your height. This you can just lift it up and down and make it the height you want to make it. The legs on this one, incidentally, are 30 mil which I think is the same as that one, so all my attachments that I got for that should fit that, which saves me a bit of money on buying attachments for a while, until I want more, which we all do. Um, what else is there to say about it otherwise? Not a lot really. The strap is well padded, so it's not going to cut into your neck if you have to carry everything like me, because I don't possess a shuttle or a coarse barrow. I've got a cart barrow, but it's a cumbersome thing when you're trying to carry boxes and things on it. Um, I've got some pull winders and things like that that I'm going to fit into the top tray. I haven't showed you that either, that's the other thing. In the top here, underneath, there's another unit there for your pull winders to sit in. The one thing that Preston do do, and I think Matrix do it as well, and um, Map and all that, is they do pull winders with trays, and they just sit into your box. So you don't have to faff about trying to make a tray up or anything, or get your pull winders flying around the box. So yeah, that's it. I'm now going to spend the next couple of hours taking stuff from that box into that box. <laughs> Getting it all sorted out for the first trip. And hopefully this one will serve me well. Like I say, that's had a good year and a half to nearly two years of being battered. And it has been battered. I have not looked after it properly at all. But I'm going to have to with this one. It's a bit more of an investment. So yeah, I thought I'd let you see the reviews on it. On the tried and tested. And the newcomer to the block and we'll see how it fares. Well, thanking you for tuning in, guys. Tight lines.